reduction formula for integration of sin raised to n x with respect to x and uh, integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to n x with respect to x okay but n is a positive integer now take first we prove this one then after this second one now first one is integration of sin raised to n x with respect to x is i n okay sin raised to n means i n now integration of sin raised to n minus 1 x into sin raised to x with respect to x now subtracting minus 1 adding 1 degree the u and phi with respect to you say that this is u part and this one is a phi part okay so we have the rule of integration by parts this is integration by parts integration of u v with respect to x is equal to u integration of v dx minus integration of integration of v dx u dash means differentiate with respect to x plus so on okay next i n is equal to now u is a, as it is sin to n minus 1 x and integration of sin integration of sin is a minus cos x then minus sin one integration this integration of v is a again minus cos x into u dash means differentiate this one differentiate first degree n minus 1 into sin raised to n minus 2 x and differentiate sin cos x with respect to x this term is as same minus sin raised to n minus 1 x into cos x minus minus plus this is constant take outside the integral n minus 1 into integration of sin raised to n minus 2 x cos into cos is a cos square x with respect to x now next is this is cos square x this first term is as it is no change as it is plus n minus 1 integration of sin raised to n minus 2 x cos square x means you know that cos square theta plus sin square theta is equal to 1 now uh, sin, cos square x means 1 minus sin square theta means 1 minus sin square x okay now first term is no change as it is right plus now open the bracket integration of sin raised to n minus 1 uh, n minus 2 into x 1 is this is same with respect to x sorry minus means this minus n minus 1 integration of sin raised to n minus 2 and sin square x minus 2 plus 2 get cancelled only sin raised to n integration of sin raised to n x with respect to x now first term is same no change okay now n minus 1 this part you know that you know that integration of sin raised to n x integration of sin raised to n x dx is a i n means n minus 2 means i n minus 2 okay n minus 1 integration of sin n minus 2 means i n minus 2 minus of n minus 1 this part is a i n now this part you shift left hand side and i n is a common i n this is 1 this is minus shift plus plus n minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 get cancelled i n into n is remaining this n is cross multiply both the terms i n is equal to minus n uh, sin raised to n minus 1 x into cos x divided by n plus n minus 1 and divided by n i n minus 2 this is equation number 1 ok next next we evaluate second one this second one next evaluate integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to n x dx means this is i n ok i n is equal to so already integrated this part just to apply the limit only so 0 to pi by 2 0 to pi by 2 plus and this one is constant uh, this one is same as it is already this part is integrated only apply the limit put upper limit cos 90 degrees is 0 and sin 0 is 0 means 0 apply the upper limit and lower limit the first term is 0 plus ok i n is equal to this term is 0 remaining this part i n is equal to n minus 1 by n 
into i n minus 2 this is equation number 2 okay now equation number 2 next page is we use this recurrence relation to obtain i n minus 2 means this part we obtain this one i n minus 2 we obtain to find i n minus 2 by simply replacing n by n minus 2 so i n is equal to n minus 1 by n into i n minus 2 now simply n is equal to n minus 2 put n is equal to n minus 2 i n minus 2 n is equal to n minus 2 means n minus 3 n is equal to n minus 2 n is equal to n minus 2 and again minus 2 i n minus 4 okay and substitute i n minus 2 here i n is equal to n minus 1 by n and substitute this part here means n minus 3 divided by n minus 2 into i n minus 4 by back substitution similarly from 2 okay this is equation number 2 i n minus 4 put n is equal to n by n minus 4 put n is equal to n minus 4 and here put n is equal to n by 4 so n by 4 minus 1 is n minus 5 n by 4 sorry n minus 4 and n is equal to n minus 4 and minus 2 is n minus 6 and this one is substitute here this one this part n minus i n minus 4 this part substitute here we get like this i n is equal to n minus 1 by n into n minus 3 by n minus 2 into n minus 5 by n minus 4 and i n minus 6 against back substitution this process is continue continuing i n is equal to n minus 1 by n n minus 3 by n minus 2 n minus 5 by n minus 4 and so on continue last is a 2 by 3 into i1 i1 if n is odd i1 means n is odd and again i n is equal to n minus 1 by n into n minus 3 by n minus 2 into n minus 5 by n minus 4 and so on 1 by 2 into i naught if n is a even so what is i1 and i naught zero you know that i n is a integration of sin raised to n x okay this is i n but put n is equal to 1 means i1 is equal to sin raised to 1 means sin x with respect to x integration of sin is minus cos with limits 0 to pi by 2 cos 0 is a sorry cos 90 degree is a 0 minus lower limit cos 0 is equal to 1 minus minus is a plus 1 i1 is a 1 and i naught 0 put n is equal to 0 i naught is equal to integration of 0 to pi by 2 and this n is equal to 0 sin raised to 0 sin raised to 0 means 1 only dx is remaining integration of 1 is x with limits 0 to pi by 2 apply the upper limit pi by 2 minus 0 only pi by 2 when n is even so i1 and i2 substitute here now integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to nx dx series into 2 by 3 and i1 i1 is 1 if n is a odd and this series continues same n minus 1 by n and so on 1 by 2 and i naught i naught is what pi by 2 so into pi by 2 if n is even 